Hi, it's Adam from Months and PCs, and today we're going to be looking again at the Oculus Quest 2. Now, did you know that you can stream your PC games straight to your VR headset with no wires for free? I'll show you how. So the latest Oculus Quest update version 28 has a whole host of cool new features, including desk tracking, keyboard tracking, sofa tracking, and wireless PC connectivity. Today we're just going to be focusing on the wireless PC connectivity. Now you do need to have a VR compatible PC to be able to do this. A couple of things you need to do in preparation, so on your computer you need to make sure you've downloaded the latest Oculus app and make sure that this is updated to the latest version. Then in the settings you will see beta and air link. This feature does turn itself off after 24 hours so more than likely you will need to turn it back on each time you use it. Once that's done it's time to enter virtual reality. Now we're in the headset, we need to go to settings along the bottom bar, scroll down to the menu of settings to experimental features. From here you can see the option to turn air link on. We can see the air link requirements on here, only use air link on a secure Wi-Fi network for obvious reasons, use a 5 gigahertz network on AC or AX, essentially Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6, most modern routers should be okay with this, and connect your PC via an ethernet cable. This is where we're going to be breaking the rules and having our PC wirelessly connected to our router. Um, I've got a TP-Link booster set up with an ethernet cable running into my PC from here just because I can't get the signal direct from my PC where it's situated down to my router. And obviously you need a PC that meets the minimum spec for the Oculus app. So we're running a Ryzen 3600 CPU. I've got 16 gigabytes of 32 megahertz of RAM in there. And for our GPU, we've got the Radeon 5700 XT Gaming X. So that should be plenty enough for VR gaming. So let's continue. Now everything's enabled, we need to connect to the PC. So we click up here and we will search for a PC with the Oculus app running. It's as easy as that and then you're transported into your PC version of Oculus. We're going to be putting this to the test using the Batman VR game. Currently on sale on CD keys for £3.29, link in the description below. This game's a little more slower paced but does give us time to test out the movement. We've not got to worry about too much happening and we can really focus on what we're seeing. The only thing I would say is it looked a little clunky. But for complete wireless gaming after advised not to do it in this manner, I'm quite impressed. The hand movements seem to be quite responsive with very little delay. I haven't got many PC VR games at this time, but I'd love to try something fast paced to put this really through its paces. Let's jump out back to the home area on Oculus. So one of the cool features of being connected to your computer is being able to have a desktop in VR. This makes for an interesting way to watch movies or you can watch this beautiful man in more Months and PCs videos. If you haven't seen this one yet, check it out at the end of this video. So how does this all compare if we're going to use the cable? Well, it's definitely noticeable in the graphics. The screen seems smoother. It's a more rounded experience. When in VR, a small change can make a huge difference because of how close you are to the screen. We're using the official Oculus cable plugged into my USB Type-C port on the motherboard and there's no input lag. It just feels a very comfortable experience. 
So again, in the home screen, the finer details are more noticeable with the cable plugged in, and it just feels more rounded. It's great to have this option of wireless gaming, and I know it's still in its early form, so will be improved, but for me, running with my PC on Wi-Fi, I think I'm gonna stick to my Oculus cable. It wasn't a bad experience, but with me not having many PC VR games at the moment, being tethered isn't that much of an issue. Most of my faster paced games are already stored on the Oculus, not through my PC. I know that you will get much better graphics by plugging it or using it through your PC, but I really do feel for me, graphics aren't a big thing. It's about being smooth, feeling comfortable in the VR headset. And that's more important for me at the moment than it is of how good the game looks. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you do have any tips or tricks that you know with the Oculus Quest 2, do put them in the comments below. Give us a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.